Right, welcome back. I'm gonna crack on straight here because it's a Monday morning. I'm late, I've been running around trying to collect some stuff. We are scanning goats today. We're scanning meat goats and uh, we're nearly set up. It's been a long time since I scanned anything apart from Jenny's warbles and we'll see how I get on with these goats. I think they're gonna be a little bit different. Thankfully, they're very far on, so I don't need to get numbers. That suits me just fine. It's gonna be a yes or a no. We'll see how they go through the little race we've fashioned. Um, it could be quite interesting. Goats don't tend to be as pliable as sheep, but we'll get them done. If any of you have worked with goats before, you'll know that they don't behave like sheep. In this case, Martin and vet student Charlotte are having to persuade each nanny individually to go through the race to be scanned. The farmers here, Martin and June, run The Goat Company, a direct sales business for goat meat, as well as a herd of pedigree Aberdeen Angus. Today's scan will determine just how many kids they'll have to eventually go on to sell as meat boxes next year. The goats in question are derived from a South African meat breed called the Boer. The nannies originally being Sarnen, a Swiss dairy breed, but getting progressively more Boer as the generations go by and the replacements are retained. I'm actually not aware of another dedicated meat goat breed, but there must be others. So if you are, or if you keep Boers, let me know in the comments. Anyway, back to the scanning. She's in. Have you got a number? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> More than none. Come on, Dad. Right, <laughs> Go on. Lovely. She's in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there you go. <laughs> you're one of those dairy farms where they've got a couple of thousand of them. I suppose they've got a system. Ah, uh, but still, I think the horns don't help those either. Oh, there are they are handles. <laughs> I can't get any shorter than that. <laughs> well done. Yeah, sort of in the left groin. So, see there? Because I'm, I'm not, I'm cheating as well, because I'm not having to find a numbers right so see that there's, there's uterus there's some cotyledons they look a lot more sort of uh hollow i guess almost like a cl there's, there's a, a kid there uh, see him again I'm, I'm being very uh rough and ready because we don't so they're a bit they're a bit beyond the ideal point to uh get your fetal numbers from anyway so, it's easy. so you can sort of see a flash of cotyledon flash of a flash of kid and that'll sort of speed the job up Work on a farm. The second year, she's in. They've used she's it in the first year. Yeah. yeah, she's in. Yeah, she's in. There's a little kid there.
a, a really, really nice shaped, nearly pure goa boa. She didn't really look after the kids. Oh, well, that's it. Maybe that's it. That's the same with the sheep and the cattle, though. They get too terminal and they lose the maternal yeah, yeah. traits, potentially. Lose the milkiness, lose the... She's they just really say... Lovely girl. If you've ever lamb Suffolk's nightmare. Mm. Dopey ass. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get lynched by the Suffolk Society now. Yeah. I, put that on. <laughs> I think breeds are a bit like football clubs in that there's a good reason to support a lot of them. Yeah. But people feel very strongly that theirs is the right one and everyone else is terrible. The nannies are also getting a pasturella vaccine booster and a fluke treatment pre-kidding. There's even the massive billy goat weather Jezza to go through for his jabs. He just about fits through the crate. Good. So that is a very good result. There was just one which was a, a no or a question mark, which I've hedged, which is going to recheck it. Um, but other than that, I think it was 46 out of 47 in kid, which is fantastic. Means lots of kids shortly. I think they're due to start in May and uh, that'll keep Martin and June busy. I mean, they've got plenty of kid meat to uh, sell next year, but well done, girls. What do you think? Just a calf to castrate. Uh, see what, I'll go. If you swing that end round. Take these out. Does that make sense? Fuck you. What's he done? Oh Christ, right there you go. You're on camera duties. I don't want him to take the gate off really. Yeah, I think he's recording. Oh, come on man. How have you done that? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So before we go, we thought we always like to give people a plug here. So June and Martin have the, we're calling it the pod. You'll see for yourself, but it's in this lovely picturesque Northumberland countryside. So roughly, I suppose we are, aren't we here? North Powell, yeah. Far, far from anywhere. If you like somewhere idyllic and remote to come to, this is your place. So uh, I'll stick the details in the video description, but I'm going to have a look at the at the dig. It's like, what was it, Architectural Digest? <laughs> and as you can see, you've got your own private goat viewing arena. Looks very nice. Deal across the field. Oh, yeah, there you go. I'll see if I can see that on the... That'd be eating your silage. <laughs> <laughs> There's usually a few of them. Well, and what's that? You see, I've always driven past that for years. Podgers Fort. And what? So it was a Podgers fort, was fort. it? There you go. Yes. Yeah, it gets a lot of visitors there. So, looking back at this footage, I've realised I'm not yet much of a holiday let publicist. But take it from me, this is very nicely done. And if this sort of accommodation is your thing and you'd like some more details, take a look at the links. I've stuck them in the video description. This is basically Shepherd's Hut for Waitrose shoppers, isn't it? That's all that is. <laughs> Maybe I will make it in marketing after all. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you for the next one.